Are we recording? Okay, hey, what are we doing today? We have this cornfield. You can see over my shoulder. We got an acre on this side of this little trail. And we have about four acres on this side of the trail. It's not all corn. There is soybeans planted within them. Not inside where I planted the corn, not with it. But they're in rows. Um, you can see the tall cereal rye that was planted last fall. Um, today is June 25th. And I planted the soybeans within those rye patches, if you will. I did it for a couple reasons. Well, one main reason, I thought it would protect the soybeans from getting ate and maybe get up a little bit. And But what I'm doing today is spraying the corn, necessarily, specifically, with NutraGuard. It's a product by NutraPlot. And I have sprayed this stuff before in previous videos. This is a agriculture grade deer be gone, if you will. No trademark, hopefully I'm not, you know, uh, bending trademark rules here, but it is called NutraGuard by NutraPlot. And it is a stinky, smelly, rancid spray, organic. It will fall on these leaves and Hopefully keep the deer off it. Now we love our deer, we love our wildlife, but we we want our corn to, to grow a little bit more and mature so they can reap the fruit off this in the fall. Now you can see the corn here. I'll, uh, I'll explain it here in a second, but our corn is not doing that great here in Michigan. This was planted about three or four weeks ago. Don't know the specific date. And here in Michigan, we've just got a lot of rain. And not very warm um, you can see it's nice and sunny today but it's still not greatly warm it's supposed to be 80 but this is corn and soybeans are warm season annuals they want to warm yes they love rain but they almost thrive in hot temperatures and we need here in Michigan 80 is hot um, but we need 80 90 degree temperatures for this corn to 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 get out of its stunted state right now it's kind of stunted uh, just kind of waiting for the weather to warm up. It's got a good color, but you can see a purple uh, base to them, some purple leaves on the bottom, and that is the culprit of cold temperatures, cold nights, and not very warm days. So that's what I'm doing today. We'll check back here in, I don't know, 10, 14 days, and uh, hopefully deer, the deer in this area, 30, 40 deer per square mile, maybe, a lot of deer and you plant a cornfield this small uh, and I'm not uh, uh, knocking how small it is I mean if I could plant this many acres in corn in my house I would but I'm just saying that to for 30 or 40 deer per square mile you need a huge cornfield we're talking 10 15 20 acres maybe for it to and you'll still have crop damage there but so anyway I'll show you uh, the yellow or the purpling of the leaves and kind of the they're probably only about eight inches tall right now we're fourth of july is next week knee high by the fourth is what they usually say kind of rule of thumb and it ain't it ain't showing it unless we uh unless we get some warm temps thanks for watching not purpling it's only, look at that purpling right there on the stalk. It's got a good color to it, purple edges. But, uh, so yeah, let's get her done. So this NutraGuard comes in gallon jugs and quart jugs. Um, you can get it online, NutraPlot.com, Nutra-Plot.com, um, or call uh, Ken Trentham. We'll set you right up with it, ship it right out. It is kind of pr expensive. Well, it is and it isn't. You put a lot of money into this. Um, two and a half gallons will do all of this. I mixed about 10 ounces 
of NutriGuard per, per one gallon of water, which is pretty heavy. You don't normally mix any chemicals like that, but this is not a chemical. It's a little bit windy today, so I'm going to go about maybe four miles an hour. I'm going to adjust my seeds, make sure I get the perimeter done first, and then I'll do the interior spots if I have enough mix. And um, they really hit the edges uh, the, the hardest and the most. And if I have any, I don't know what the wind speed is today, but if I have any drift or overlap, uh, it will not harm anything else that it hits. So I don't have to, you know, necessarily um, worry about that today. And uh, there's some, I'll show you the nipped corn right there. But So when the deer, it'll dry on there, and when the deer go to eat it, they'll smell it. It'll, I don't know if it burns their nose hairs or if their taste it is what it does, but it, it keeps them off there. And we've done this every year on this cornfield for the last three or four years. Oh, there was a year in there we didn't plant corn, but it's worked every year. So hopefully, cr cross fingers, uh, this works this year. Look at that nipping right off there. Nipping. Look at that one. Crop damage, crop damage. There's some purpling again. Let's walk over here. Look at all the tips are nipped off. Boom, boom, boom. Let's 